Yo, it's Hood Talk Podcast, and we are down here at the movie premiere for Black Skin, and we have Miss uh, Minister Daria Dillard Stone, homegrown here in the city, and I wanted to come down and support and see for myself what the movie's about. I saw the trailer. Uh, it is about our black skin, and it's from another perspective, so um, I thought it was a great way to spend my Sunday afternoon, especially I want to be with my young people. I always try to mix with them because they always want me to be here, and they want me to know and get my perspective on things, you know, so I'm glad to be here. Yes, ma'am, we're glad to have you here. Now, have you seen any of his other films, Mr. Mark Casey? Yeah, he was down at Sinclair for one year he came. The movie was, I can't even think of it now, you ask, because I didn't know I was going to do this. But he did, I think it might have been his first movie, and Dr. Michael, uh, uh, Michael down at the uh, Sinclair College, he's the one that brought him in the first time. I saw him back in the 90s, when he was just, so if he's making pancakes, I want to see it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know, because, that's right. You know, I'm just surprised he hasn't blown up bigger than what he is already. From what I see, he has blown. He's blowing. Yeah, he he's is still blowing. blowing up, but I'm just saying he's major. Yes, ma'am. I mean, he's he up is. there with Denzel Washington to me. Yes, yes, That's ma'am. what I'm talking about when I say blow up, you know, where you, you getting that kind of blow up money. Oh, know? yes, ma'am. So, recognition, so yeah, but I wanted to come out and, and you know, support Mark and just spend a day here at the Neon. Right. Okay. <clears throat> it's Hood Talk Podcast, and we are here with Mr. Mark Casey. It's nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. I want to know, how is it being one of the major film directors from Detroit? <laughs> You've been doing your homework. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I am the first African-American Detroit filmmaker who brought Hollywood to Detroit. As you probably know, uh, Detroit has taken over independent filmmaking. Yes, definitely. Uh, literally. A lot of the guys uh, that, that's doing movies uh, work for me at some point or audition for me at some point. And I was at Sundance and it was a group of them there and they actually gave me homage. Like, you know, yeah. and one guy said, do I know you? He said, well, I auditioned for you. So I'm, I'm the one who started the D D Detroit filmmaking move. Uh, I'm the first one. But I kind of backed away and let the youngins take over. So they, they didn't take over the... the to be uh, market up in Detroit. So you like you mentor them and stuff like that. Now? We don't we don't mentor now. Detroit is um, how do you say? Every once they start getting their money, they, they don't need no help. It's <laughs> like you know. So no, I'm not mentoring anymore. But I did mentor a lot of them, and they may have been it. They may not. A lot of directors and uh, actors was were indirectly mentored by me on set and off set, if, even if they don't want to give me the credit. They know who Mark Casey is. Yeah, I bet. So what was the first movie you produced, and how did you come up with the concept? The first movie I produced was a movie called Nikita Blues, and it was a short film originally, and I got it from a TV show, I mean a radio show, a breakfast show that was on the radio about a young girl stealing clothes and selling them at school. She worked at a retail shop, mm -hmm. and it was a true story, and her mom was trying to beat her to death. So I wrote a, a short film version of that, and um, HBO took it, and they liked it. They played it on HBO, Nikita Blues. And they said, can you make a feature film version of it? So I did. I made a feature film version of Nikita Blues, and I brought in uh, S's Atkins. Yeah. Uh, S's is from uh, those uh, haunted movies with Marlon Wayans. And half and half. And half and half. Yep. Oh, look at you doing yeah. your homework. <laughs> and a young kid by the name of Brandon T. Jackson. Yes. I brought him from the city of Detroit to Hollywood. And we shot the movie, uh, a portion of the movie in Los Angeles. And as you know, he did Big Mama House and yeah. Tropic Thunder. I'm the one that got him on that. He did a roll bounce too. He actually used the footage from um, uh, Nikita Blues to give to uh, Malcolm Lee, Spike Lee's cousin, to get him the job in Roll Bounce with Bow Wow. So, oh, that's so dope. I'm, I, I, I'm proud to be the one who discover new acts. You know, that's not the only one. I've several different people I've discover it and put them in feature films and yes, that you guys sir. know of. You know. Yes, sir. So have you thought about shooting a film here in Dayton, Ohio? It is always a possibility. I, I, I like to shoot in other cities because Detroit has been oversaturated. So I'll let my Detroit brothers have Detroit and I'll shoot in other cities because I'm literally shooting in Jacksonville in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I shoot wherever there's a story, I will come. So Dayton, you have a story for me, I'll be here. 
No, that's right. So I hear you love local actors and musicians. How would people get in touch with you to get you their reels or their music for future projects? Instagram is the easiest way. Mark Casey Films. Mark Casey Films is real simple to find me. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Okay. Instagram. Okay. Yes, sir. And I've seen you been to the Sundance Festival, the Golden Globes, the BET Awards, the Oscars, the NAACP <laughs> Image Awards. How's was, how was those experiences? Oh, man, it's like a dream. Whatever you think those those uh, Hollywood events are, they're more than that. They are an experience, and I can't even get into what the after parties are about. So, you know, yes, they they are very exclusive, a list. You know, as you know, you see me with Harrison Ford and Issa Rae and Gail King. You know, so it's it's very special. Yes, sir. And I see you got films with Mr. Hawthorne uh, James. Yeah. 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 Got, they go, they, yeah. Yeah. Hawthorne James. I got two films with Hawthorne James. We'll finish up when we get done because we're actually doing a screening in about five seconds. Okay. So okay. we'll finish up afterwards. Okay. okay cool.